Hello, and welcome to this TaxCalc training video. In this video, we'll be looking at the mail merge function, including creating template letters and emails to send out to clients. To start, we'll create a new mail merge template. Then, a tax questionnaire from scratch. This task is particularly useful for collecting next year's tax return information. You can pull across information from your client's previous return into a checklist for your client to update and send back to you. Let's open Practice Manager. Mail Merge is in the Action panel on the bottom left. There are two options on the left-hand side, Create New Mail Merge and Create Client Questionnaire. Let's click on Create New Mail Merge. For this example, we'll send a letter to our self-employed clients, letting them know the tax return season is upon us and that we need their information. At this point, we need to select which clients you want to include in the Mail Merge. The mail merge will pull across each client's records into the letter, so it's sent with the relevant information. We can select all clients, contacts, or both. Specific clients can be selected from the list by highlighting and adding them to the right-hand column. We can also do a data mine to query the database and get the relevant results. Click Data Mine and Add Condition to search through the database fields. We're searching for clients with self-employment pages on their last tax return for 2019. Let's confirm they have those pages by selecting Yes. Now click Run Only. We're not going to save that query, although we can save data mines for future reference. In this case, we've identified two clients who are self-employed. Let's check over the list. Then we come to the template selection. It shows all the templates we've got in the system. Most of the templates we see here come with the software. Of course, we can create our own as well. To do that, simply click on Create New Template in the top right-hand corner, which opens a new document in Microsoft Word. We use Microsoft Word because most people are familiar with it. It has so many formatting options that we don't need to reinvent the wheel and build our own formatting system. Let's insert a merge field. Click this drop-down menu and select from the list. We've put the client name into the template. To see how that's shaping up, Click Preview Results. The Step buttons show each record. If we click through, the program identifies each record in the merge. Let's focus on this one. We'll add in other useful mail merge fields, the UTR number and their client code. Now we can start the body of the letter. Let's say your tax return needs preparing. Could you please send or bring in your receipts, invoices and other information? We can also put in other fields from last year's or this year's tax return. There are many options in this list, including total tax previous year. Let's say last year your tax liability was, and add that. We can add other items, such as payments on account, total self-employed business income, lots of stuff. Do have a look through the list and create letters as you wish. So how do we get these letters to the client? We can save documents individually and store them in the client folder. We can print them off as separate documents and we can also send the letters as emails. We need an email client to do this such as Outlook or the default application on your system. We'll type in the subject, click OK. The system has now sent letters to individual clients. The letter will be in the text of the email, not sent as an attachment. Some of our customers have told us that they use this function to inform clients when they've updated their terms and conditions of trading, business or services. We could create a template letter like this, address it to clients individually and send to every client in the database using their email address. This facility uses the email addresses stored in Practice Manager, so ensure that your clients' email addresses are up to date in there. Let's save it as an example template letter. That's saved. We can now exit Word and import that template into TaxCalc for future use. We'll call it Tax Return 2020. We can store it in a specific category, in this case, Engagement Letters. We can save that for future reference. That's the Mail Merge section. Let's have a look at the Client Questionnaire section. Click Create Client Questionnaire on the left. We're asked which tax year we wish to request data for. At present, we're requesting data for 1920. Obviously, the software is updated with future tax years. We recommend ticking the top three boxes to get the most out of the system database, that being your incomes, outgoings and reliefs, your practice details, 
and your previous year values. We can save the questionnaires as one file or separate files. We recommend separate files. Select where in the file system the documents will save. Then we can select specific clients. If we want to select only a few clients this is relevant to, select and add them to the right hand list. Now we can add a cover letter. We have a questionnaire cover letter shipped with the software. Add that in. Then we have a summary. Requesting information for 1920, include all this information and it'll save in my documents. We're now taking the information from last year's tax return and creating the cover letters to generate our questionnaire. Looking in the file system, we can see our documents and open one in Microsoft Word. Here we have the cover letter, addressed and personalized for the client, and the checklist. It's also included any schedules. In this case, a self-employment. If there are things like pensions or assets such as dividends, shares held, bank account interest, it would ask for updates of that information. All that goes into the checklist. The program automatically identifies the areas to be requested again from the client. That's the mail merge and questionnaire sections. Hopefully this has been useful to you. If you have any questions or want to find out more, please go to our knowledge base or contact our support team. To view other videos on the TaxCalc software, click the links above and below. Thank you.